Hello everybody, it's Pop Bob here today. This is going to be a real quick, uh, cheap, simple video for you, showing you guys the new update that came inside with 1.3 inside of our uh, Ultimate Projectile system here. So, I'm going to show you guys that real quick and show you guys what we added. So, we also added in um, Random Flight Path and Spawn Points. We also have added in over here, you have the Mine Launcher, Mesh Slicer, and also Chain Lightning. Now, these three changes have been pretty big. We also have in bullet trails as well, which you'll see here in a moment. I'll show you guys the uh, random flight path one first. So, basically, wherever you shoot here now. Your projectiles, you can set to curve around the x-axis here. And you can see that the bullets will always land right where your gun is actually pointed in the middle of your screen here. And I've added in options that you guys can actually use to tinker with and change um, how the bullet actually will act um as it's curving or what actually you want to curve it on and stuff so there's options in there you guys can tweak and change this to yourself you also see we also have the um bullets um trail on these ones as well now and that can be applied to any bullet you guys want at all right now it's just on the master bullet so here we have the spawn points node um basically on this one i've made it so you guys can use the bullets to spawn it pretty much wherever you want and this is great for magic casters so i'll show you what it looks like here So this one is actually using a socket location, and it's actually spawning um, around the actual socket on our gun here. Um, I just used a bunch of different nodes and stuff to create uh, different effects, basically. And inside this gun specifically, you guys can actually choose different things that I already have preset for you, I believe it is. So right now, you guys can like choose your gun location. You can do it in front of you and just have it straight drop straight down from the ground if you want it from the air. Um, I have this cube up here, too, because I even have it spawning on this cube for another option you guys can use as well. I per this option we have here is personally my favorite right now for like magic casting. So like maybe like you're shooting like a Solaire or something out of your wand. You don't want the Solaire to come out of the wand every single time. I, I personally don't. So that's my favorite option to use. I personally love it. So moving on to the next one here, we have our little mesh bomb here, our little mine launcher. So here what you can do is you can fire this in a couple areas. They will fly. They'll stick to some. Um, this is just inside the bullet code on this one. You guys can get rid of that if you want. I just thought it'd be funny to make it look like a mine. Anyway, wherever you shoot your bolts on this one, you can right click and make them explode there on uh, after. Right now, they're kind of randomized to go off, but you'll see exactly how it's done inside the blueprints. They also don't need to be attached to anything when you do it too, so we can just shoot up in the air and then blow them up. Fun stuff there. Next up, we have the Mesh Slicer. This is one of our requests from one of our uh, product purchasers here. He wanted me to put this in for him, so I did. So you can use your mouse wheel up and down like this, and on screen you'll get this little prompt, and whichever way this little doohickey is facing, whatever type of mesh you shoot, will actually get cut in that same way. So if we put it straight up and down, if we shoot this bottom block here, we'll split it right in half. And now if we turn it like uh, diagonally again, we'll cut this block in half. And now for the very last option, my personal favorite one. This is a personal endeavor of mine to make, and that is our chain lightning gun. This thing is not com totally completed yet, but it's pretty sweet, so I hope you guys like it. So you'll see here we have a bunch of cubes up, and whatever cube I, that I shoot, it will actually arc off the cube and go to the next four ones. Let me, um, I'm just going to mute the audio for this one because it's pretty loud. You can see here wherever I fire, um, it will arc off the other cubes up to four times. Inside the notes, inside the actual blueprints, I have written down exactly how this works. And inside the Discord, in the next few days, I'll be making full documentation on these new additions in here. But these new ones are pretty complicated. We're getting a little more advanced here in the projectile system for the video games and stuff that we're making. And if you guys want, go ahead and join our Discord down below as well. And we'll go over and um, you guys can give me suggestions you might want inside the projectile system and stuff like that as well. Uh, I guess that's all I really have to say for now, everybody. I'm Papa. Have yourselves a great day. This is all for update 1.3, by the way, which is live right now.